Hello, today I'm going to share with you some tips and tricks to help you win at Nerdle. And Nerdle is similar to uh, Wordle, where Wordle is uh, about a finding a word, uh, where Nerdle is finding a mathematical equation. And so uh, with um, with Nerdle then, I like to start off with these two uh, mathematical equations. So first of all, I'll push the, put the first one in first. Uh, the first equation in first, 12 divided by 3 uh, plus 0 equals uh, 4. And enter. And then the second uh, equation that I like to start with is 9 times 8. Uh, minus 7 equals 65 and enter and uh, with um, with uh, this uh, these two equations well they, they're great equations as they've got all the numbers from 0 to 9 so you can see there I've used all the numbers from 0 to 9 in those two equations and they also use all the mathematical operations that um, are used in Wordle, which is plus, minus, multiply, divide, and also equals. And so you've got it all there. And uh, so th these are really great. So after two guesses, then you'll know all the numbers and operations that are part of the final answer. So once you've got those uh, two equations in there, then you just need to check uh, for the blue-green cells, because the blue-green cells means it's the uh, correct number or, or operation in the uh, right location. So you can see there that for the 3 equals and 5, they're all in the, uh, in the correct location. Um, and then the maroon cells, this is where you've got the correct number or operation, but in the wrong location. So you can see there the 1 minus 0 equals and 4. Again, a feature in the answer, but they're just in the wrong location. So using this, uh, those first two equations in, you know by looking at the, the blue and uh, the maroon cells, um, you'll know all the numbers and operations that are part of the final answer by using uh, those first two equations. So I re reckon those, those two equations are the best way to start Myrtle. So once you've done those uh, two uh, equations then, I like to get a, a pad and paper and try and nut out what the answer might be. So you can see there I've got the uh, I've got one, two, three, and then I've got the three in the right spot. So I've got one, two, three blanks and three, which is going to be part of the final answer. Uh, blank equals blank and five. So blank equals blank and five. So I put that there. And then I've also realized that I've got to include one, minus 0 and 4 in the final answer as well. So what I do is uh, I have a look at those uh, that number and I th it's probably likely that that third cell there is going to be an equal sign. So I've tried it again with an equal sign um, as a, a likely, um, you know, an estimated, a good estimated guess on that. And then what I try and do is work out different combinations based on what I know to be correct and what I need to be included. So obviously I know those, the three, the equals and five have to be in those positions. And then I just need to include the one, the minus and the zero and the four somewhere there. Um, and then I try different combinations. Um, say for instance here, so I know that's going to be 30 something. So then this number here would have to be larger than 30 so it's probably going to start with uh with four so it's going to be 40 you know 44 or 40 or 41 perhaps there so i'll just try some different combinations um i'm going to use uh two fours 44 minus 31 which actually equals uh 13 so that's that can't be correct um and then i might try or then i'm going to try uh, 40, which is the 4 and the 0 in there, minus 31, which actually just equals 9, so that can't be correct. Um, this one, uh, 40 minus 35, that's, and that equals 5, so that actually could be correct. The only thing is that um, we've got to include 1, 
and that uh, equation doesn't include the 1 anywhere there. Then I come down to this uh, final equation, which is uh, 45 minus 30 equals 15. That actually, uh, that's actually a co correct equation. And that uses all these numbers up here that I uh, have to include, the 4, the 0, the 1, and of course the minus sign there. So, um, yeah, I'm that, looks, that looks like it might be the answer. And that's the, um, the answer that I will uh, plug in to uh, Nerdle to see if it's correct. So that was uh, 45 minus 30 equals 15 and enter. And oh, there we go. It's all blue green and it says you've you won. So there we go. I've solved Nerdle in uh, three guesses so okay so there we go it's actually quite i quite enjoy nerdle it's um once you get into it it's uh, very logical of where all the where the numbers uh, can and can't be um and those obviously those two good starting equations um gives you some good uh, clues about what the final answer might be so um yeah so obviously trying these different combinations is the fun part each one of your guesses that you have here actually has to be mathematically correct to be accepted by Nerdle to uh, to get it all to work. Okay, so there we go. That's some tips and tricks to help you uh, win at Nerdle and good luck with, um, with your Nerdle attempts each day. Thanks for watching and goodbye for now.